Hi everyone and welcome in this uh, new video. Today we are going to see how to add decals and graphics to your design. We'll see how to uh, position it but also how to add bump or to change the color of the texture of it so that uh, you're able to uh, create um, the design that you want in Blender. So the first thing we're going to do is to select our mesh uh, on which we want the decals to be and uh, to create a new material. Let's keep it at material actually and let's keep material and we're going to import our first uh, graphic so you're going to do shift a and then um, image texture and then click on open and you will select your picture so my picture are pngs so they don't have any background but you can have also picture with with a white background and it, it works just fine so you're going to select your picture do open and um, then we're going to map it. So we're going to press Ctrl T and it's going to create uh, the mapping uh, nodes uh, for uh, image texture. So this only works if you have the uh, node wrangler uh, add-on on. So now that we have our image texture, we are going to UV unwrap this. So select your mesh, press Shift, and we are going to UV unwrap only the top face because we just want uh, our decals to be on the top face. So you're going to select one face and then you're going to select, select similar and then coplanar. So it's only selecting, actually you might see better if I do this. Yeah, so it's only selecting the coplanar faces of the initial one that uh, I've selected. So then I go uh, from the top view, I, pu I put the camera in top view. So I, I press seven on the numpad and uh, then I'm going to do U and unwrap. And then you see it will have unwrapped my, my mesh. So the thing is uh, we want to place uh, UVs uh, in accordance to our, to our image. So to do this, we need to put the image underneath that, that we just load. So you go here and you do you select this image. So this image should be there if you loaded this one. And um, then uh, we are going to scale this and to move this so that it fits our, our design. Um, so to come back into shading mode, actually you can also put viewport. It doesn't have to be the fully render one, but it has to. You need to to have this node as a preview. So you will click on Control, you will press Control Shift, select this, and you still can't see it here. So when you do it, and this is because here in alpha, you need to put uh, none. Uh, so if you put none, it means that your PNG will not have an um, alpha background anymore. So it will not be transparent. And so it will be white and it will be helpful uh, for, the, for the next step. So we're going to move this where we want. So you see it's right here and we want to put it here. So let's rotate it. Uh, so R and then uh, control to increment and to have uh, 90 degrees. Then G to move it here. So we move it wherever, where you want. You can scale also here. Great. So then now that it's here, we can go back here. And actually, so if you look around your object um, and you press tab and you, you look everywhere uh, there should be uh, if you if you move this here you might have your uh, your uvs that appear somewhere else so if it doesn't appear it's because probably the rest of your uvs are somewhere else in the model so it's uh, right here um, but make sure that all the other parts are not on your graphic otherwise uh, you're going to you're going to see it uh, so now that this one is mapped, uh, we're going to put the second one. Actually, I'm also going to add a noise texture for later. You will see it's quite cool. It's another effect uh, that we will implement later on, onto this uh, with the decals. Uh, but so I put it here, but first put the first dec the second decal. So I'm going to copy this here and paste it. And here. Um, I want to do the same thing, so I want to, with my other picture, so I'm going to close here to, to remove the picture, and then I'm going to uh, open uh, my second one, so here. And again, in alpha, I'll put uh, none. And here, I'm going to um, press tab, and I'm going to re-unwrap it, 
but before doing this I need to create a, another UV map so I will go into uh, object I'll go into data and here in UV maps I'll create a new one and so you'll see it will be UV map 001 you can rename it if you want um, it's not compulsory you can just leave it like this and make sure that it is selected don't worry about this but make sure that it's this one is highlighted the second one and then we're going to the same thing so we're going to select the top face and we're going to do one of the top face and do select similar coplanar and then uh, we're going to uv unwrap it from the top so uh, uv unwrap and uh, now we can uh, change here the, the picture and put this one here and uh, select everything so press a and we will move this in order to place it where we want and again uh, we need to preview this node so to do this we are going to um, to have to uh, select this Control shift and select like this so here you see it's a bit big so we're going to scale this yeah we're going to scale this and actually um, you're not going to see any difference and the reason why is because um, the mapping here is mapped regarding the UV and the UV is going to be the first one so uh, or the one which is uh, selected here but because you have different UVs uh, and you want this to be mapped with this UV and this to be mapped with this UV you're going to delete this here and uh, you're going to add a UV where is it UV map here so you can take one and duplicate it so copy paste and here you're going to say the first UV map that you created so it will be this one and then the second one which will be uh, this one and each map uh, you're going to assign it to uh, the correspondent image so here you do UV and then UV like this here so if you click here uh, again and you look uh, your your decal is still here and if you click here and you are on the second one so make sure the second one if you move this you see it's going it's going to move and actually uh, we are going to place where we want um, our uh, graphic so actually you see that it's repeating itself everywhere so to do this um, there are two solutions so either you change the repeat by clip and it will not repeat or it will be a solution that works to put extend so extend will basically take uh, extend the color of the border and the, the the reason why we have to this is because the alpha we put none so at the end of the picture it's then transparent so that's why it, it takes it at two different uh, information so that's why you need to do extend and that's also why when you do your decal don't finish it at the at the border uh, leave leave a bit of white or, or something around in order to um, to be able to do extend otherwise the ex extension will be the, the color that, that you've put so let's come back to our UVs and let's do this here perfect so now it's pr properly mapped um, and um, the thing we want to do now is to combine both of those maps so we're going to use color uh, node a uh, uh, mix a uh, mix color so shift a and then go into color and then mix color here and you're going to put the first one here and the second one here and um, we'll put multiply and maximum and now if we preview this so control shift Control shift on this we should have both so um, yeah so that's multiply means that you have your picture and on top of this the picture that you put all the white will be transparent so that's why it's important to have a to have a white background otherwise you have to use other blending mode and, and it might it could be a bit messy so um, now we mix this and uh, we can directly put it into to put the result into base color and actually if we do control shift on this uh, we will have um, our uh, decals here so 
that's great but the issue is that this is white and, and um, if we want another color we'll have to do something we can add actually we're going to do this we're going to uh, do control c control v so we'll put another color mix and we will put this as a second uh, input and we'll do the same thing we'll use multiply because most of the part is white if we put a color underneath and we say the picture on top of it everything which is white is transparent then it will work then then we will be able to choose the color that we want so uh, if i choose a color here you see i don't lose i don't lose this uh, information here but i'm able to choose um, the the colors that i want uh, here so if i do this let's say gray that's uh, one thing then uh, so here we were able to to put decals um, which are individual because actually if you look at your UV map uh, you can still move them individually you don't have to do like one decals which is the exact size of your thing you know everything aligned and you can just do different elements and and then on the go uh, decide where you, you're going to put them so now that we have this we want to see how to to add bump to this so to add bump we are going to add a bump a bump node so you're going to vector and you're going to bump here and then we will use this information so if you do preview on this it's a black and white picture so you're going to take the result and put in height height sorry here and then you're going to put normal here and if you do if you do Control shift here you see um, that it's going inside not not outside so you can do invert and when you come back here you see that the picture is a bit pixelized but um but you have you have a bump on your object so you can you have a bump on your object so this is to add a bump then now if we want to change color we are going to uh, use a color ramp and so you do converter color ramp here and then we will put it between between our mixed decals and uh, the and the thing that allow us to choose the color of the of the main object so here uh, we're going to simply convert the black into another color so it can be whatever color we want so you go here and then you choose I don't know let's say orange for example like this here and then now um, you see we are able to choose our color uh, the color of our decals and the color of um, our object that's how you put decals and, and everything um, there is an additional thing which is uh, very uh, very interesting is is the fact that uh, you can actually mix uh, textures in addition to this so what i mean by that is that if let's say your object has, um, has a texture on it uh, you can choose to either say i don't want this texture to be on this so this would be a bit like a sticker or uh, you can say uh, you can decide um, that the texture is actually um, going to be um, part of, of your decals so earlier i created a noise texture so actually i'm going to take this noise texture press ctrl T to add a mapping coordinate um, like this so I can press uh, ctrl shift on the noise texture to see how it looks so you might have to un unwrap this again but be careful because you want to unwrap it on a new UV map to not uh, destroy your, um, your decals position so you're going to create another um, UV map and you're going to delete this and you're going to uh, use the same element here like this and put it right here so uh, you're going to use this uv map and uh, we're going to uh, unwrap this but this time you just press um, um, a to select er to select everything and then uh, uv smart uv project um, like this so that's okay and then yeah so then we're going to scale this much smaller 
and uh, so it's it's not um it basically it's a bump texture that we want to add to this so if i move if i take this noise texture and i add it instead of my bump here and i take um, and i do a preview here so okay so it's a bit big uh, so let's add it even smaller okay so let's say okay um, actually that might still be a bit big so you, you can tap 2000 yeah yeah all right we'll, we'll take it like this so first by doing this you lost your texture you lost the, the bump on this and also this took the texture of your of your object of your of your noise texture so we're going to first mix those two texture in order to um, I mean, you are going to combine them and then put them uh, into the put this mix into the bump um, in order to have both the texture of the main part and also the texture of our decals. So we're going to use a mix a node, so a bit like this one. So you can just copy paste it, um, and you can put so you can put this one first, um, so your noise texture, and then the decals. Uh, in a second, then control shift here, and here you're going to put maximum, uh, yeah, and then the results. So, factor you can put one, and then the results you're going to put into the height here, and then control shift here, and you see that that you have your bump, and at the same time, you have your uh, your decal, uh, which with a bump. So you can actually, uh, so actually, I'm not sure why, but this is um, with the texture and this not, and I tried different one and it worked with um, add, no, it worked with um, darken. So with darken, you don't have this issue. So sometimes something will work, something will not work. I know there is a logic behind, but I, I don't always get it. So, so you might want to try different one and see. So you see here, both texture are added, uh, so you have the bump here and, and, the, and the decals. And uh, if you want to have the bump and the texture on the same, so like this will have a bump, but instead, uh, in, uh, in addition, you have this. You can put add here, and it's not obvious. Maybe it's more obvious on this one. So you see, you have the global. Actually, can we raise it? Not so much. Um, so so it's raised where the graphic is, but it also takes the texture. So so that's uh, something which uh, works also. So and if you do this, actually, yeah. So so you you can choose whatever you want. So here I'm just going to and you uh, feel free to to just uh, try different ones uh, and see what's best. Sometimes you expect something and it's different but um, but it's a result which is actually more interesting than the things that you uh, wanted to do so so you know it's like part of the creative process also um, a last thing is actually the roughness uh, at the moment everything is at the same roughness so you know here everything is like really shiny and here everything is not you can say you can use this the color you can use this um as called this node, uh, which is a decal uh, node, uh, and plug it into um, the roughness in order to have a different roughness. So let's say this is uh, shiny and this is rough because you know it's textured, um, and you can uh, decide which roughness by adding um, color ramp. So if you add a color ramp, color ramp, a converter color ramp here, um, if you do this. So control shift, you might want to change the black with some gray in order to, to be more uh, more rough. So if you do this, normally it should be a bit less shiny. Yeah, so actually you can see this is very shiny. And if I do this, it's much less shiny, so yeah. So yeah, that's how you put decals on an object. I hope you liked the video. And um, if you have any question, don't hesitate to, to ask. If there is a subject you want me to cover uh, with a video, uh, just let me know into the comments. And uh, don't hesitate to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.